What's up everybody? What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Alpha Zero Forum. I'm reviewing Day to Live 2 Episode 4. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness to the animators that they made a major improvement on this episode. Some of y'all will, uh, will agree or disagree with me. I don't care. To me, it made a major improvement. Just like everything like seemed to flow. All Everything about this episode. All the action. All the fighting. Every surprisement right there. It's like, I did not know what was what to expect, you know, after seeing that episode 4 preview, but I expected it to be a major improvement because episode 3 was way too much fan service. I'm pretty sure all you have to agree on that, and I kind of got disappointed on it when I gave it like 3 out of 5 or maybe less than that. Because like, um, too much fan service, I don't know what the hell's going on with that episode, you know, but this one had a major setback and a turning point for me, and I hope y'all could agree, and I'm about to start this review right now. So anyways, we get to the, we end up seeing some kind of beginning about two ships colliding with each other, you know, facing off one in, one another, like Rakustar against that other ship that I don't know what's going on, don't know the name, but you know, but you know, Shido and Toka end up seeing, yeah, Yuzuru and Kaguya about to f fighting each other, you know, and later we end up, we end up seeing like so, that strange old woman that's been stalking Shido and Toka, like one like working for some different anti anti spirit team or the same old spirit anti spirit team, you know, wanting to like um capture the princess. And Toko's like raising her sword against her and Shiro says, What are you doing? Like you should not do that to people like that. But Toka knew what was going on. She says, Every time I look at her right now, I have a bad feeling about it, you know? It's not good. It's not feeling well. She's about to like do something. Later she ends up summoning these machines and the lady and Toka end up going one on one, one on one against each other. Sad thing is, Toka gets overpowered, and later, like a uh, late, and her sword sound off phone breaks, you know. And Shido ends up being hella angry, saying like, "What the hell, are you bastards, doing? Leave her alone or something." And he's all like, thinking in his mind, "I'm, I'm effing, I'm useless again. I can't believe I'm so, so useless. What am I doing? Let." We do something. He ends up, he's either screaming Toka out loud or screaming in his mind. I don't remember because this, this is like crazy stuff right now. This had a major, this episode had, had a great major improvement. And I don't care what you all think, but it made a major improvement. And let's get back to where it started. And ships are still fighting with each other. And I think Katori was like in contact with Rakustar. I wasn't paying attention as much, but Shido ends up having... Toka's standoff fall in his, in his hand. I'm like thinking, whoa, that's crazy. How'd you do that? You know, that's st st surprising. And later, like, um, the girl says, oh, you're coming with me too. And, and it's like, the machines were supposed to get him or something. And she told the machines, oh, you, if he resists, y'all can break his arms and legs. And I said, yeah, go to hell, woman. You ain't gonna do sh You ain't gonna do anything to this boy right here. The machines end up powering down because the ship was under attack, you know, Rocket Star against the other ship, you know. And by that time, it's like, I don't know what's going on. The machines broke down and Cheeto and Toka en uses, this, uses this chance to run off because they don't want any trouble, you know. And the lady ends up falling through a hole and it's like, why the heck does this happen to me? I'm the world's greatest w wizard or witch. I said, world's greatest my ass. You fell through a freaking easy trap hole right there <laughs> it's funny really like real real funny like i fell through a trap hole i'm a greatest wizard congratulations <laughs> and it goes back to the lame old trio saying uh i think we made a made a trap at a wrong spot bad location i'm thinking uh-uh you made a good location girls you did your job at the end, end, that's so lame. I'm like thinking, girl, stop saying that. Can you say anything else besides those words? That's so lame. Blah. Then we get to see Shido and Toka at the beach seeing Yuzuru and Kaguya fighting with each other. And and right now, like, um, she wants to do something. I mean, no, he, Shido wants to do something. But he couldn't do anything at all. It's like, it's like he's trying to use the sword, but he couldn't. But Toka taught him teaches them how to use it, you know, and they end up using it together. I said, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good progression with each other, knowing each other, helping each other out. That is what I'm seeing and that is what I need to see, you know, and 
later we end up seeing the we end up seeing Shido launching a projectile sli sli a slicing projectile to between them with the by splitting the sky and he ends up talking to him to knock it off you know and then the two twins tell him you stay out of this you're not part of this anymore and I'm thinking in my mind he became part of this ever since you brought him into it so it's your fault for saying so it's your fault for making him like being part of this situation that you two are in right now you know and later it's like um Shido told him all right I'm gonna give you I'm gonna you y'all have to like um y'all have a choice I could you all could like save each other lose your spirit powers and put each other alive I want both of you alive they say that's a stupid answer like way worse than an elementary school's answer I said Oh man, these two are like hard to get at, you know. And Shido gives gives them the two options: Kaguya defeats him, lives; Yuzuru defeats her, lives, you know. And Shido says, three, y'all like um, I don't know, put aside your differences. I don't know, blah blah blah, lose your spirit powers and then come together. And he says, I can't stand with two choices. I'm thinking in my mind. That's a, that's another thing from for that's like related to anybody here. We can't stand having two choices. We'll make a third option if we even have it, you know? Crazy stuff. It's like here and there it's like boom bam bak and Shiro loses consciousness and fades out right there, you know? And Yuzuru and Kaguya end up having a little quarrel a bit, but in the end it's like um they end up talking with each other. They end up talking with each other, sell the differences, they want to hang out with each other, and it's like romantic love, you know, with two sisters, though, I don't blame them, you know, it's hot, <laughs> it's hot, y'all yeah, think, I'm sorry for that, I mean, hot, it, it's hot, and they end up seeing the same old ship that's trying to retreat, and they end up combining their weapons, and I think they've blown it away, they've blown the ship away or destroyed it, I don't remember because I didn't bother, like, paying attention a little bit, but they finally put aside the differences. Thank goodness of it. I'm really happy for that. I mean, I, w I am happy for that. As always, you know. You know, siblings battle each other and then sell the differences. Re Reconciliation. That's what, like, we all have to go through, you know. And, yeah. It's like, um, there you go. And we end up seeing the Yamai twins, like, um, talking. But not before Origami talks to Reen. And she ends up saying I couldn't protect Shido or something. I'm just thinking in my mind, girl, don't criticize yourself. There's nothing you can do. There's not. There's not like um any like armory you could have to like um take him on anyway. You know, it's like that. She's all bandaged up, nursing, and then we get back to the Yamai twins and says, hey, you know, we gotta thank you. We have to really thank you for helping us out right there. And I said, of course you have to thank you. Yeah, just got along. You put aside your differences. And that's it, you know? That is what you... That's what it has to be. And later, they say, close your eyes. We're going to give you a little present. A present, you know? <laughs> a surprise or something. They both kissed him on the lip. And I said, hmm. Pretty hot right there, you know? And we end up getting some fan service, though. I don't blame it. It's just funny to me. Y'all could, like, hate me or disagree with me or agree. I think that's a perfect way to, like, um, end it right there to me. They end up losing their clothing and they have to cover up the the big old J-cups. Uh, I'm sorry for thinking like that, but big old breast size or something. And they go, one of them says, oh, I'll never get married if I am naked. Tears coming out. Toka shows up. What the hell is going on? Shut up! And then Itsuka says, no, 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 no. This is a misunderstanding, you know? And then, ah! And we end up seeing a little thing about Katori talking to, the, talking to someone. Saying like, we know that your brother like summoned an angel or something. If the situation calls for it, you, you're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do something like to take care of it, like by force or something. And Katori said, "Katori says if anything should happen, I'll kill Shido." I'm thinking in my mind, "Yeah, right. You are not going to kill your brother. That's not going to happen. That's the worst case scenario. You have to go there. I mean, seriously, like unrelated or not related, like even brother or sister. The thing you have to, the worst thing to do is to kill them. Come on." Y'all have to agree with, me, agree with me on this. That's the worst case to even go there. Then we end up seeing the ending, of course, and it fits. Yeah, looking forward. Look, and we took a look at episode 5, saw some funny parts. Tonka's like hugging the pillow, like, ah, thinking if it was Shido or something. <laughs> I'm just laughing hard right there. Then we end up seeing the fifth spirit, the singing spirit, Izayo, I think. Like, um, I think Izayo or something, you know? And we end up Shido, like, I think, cross-dressing. And that's about it. 
for um, the next episode that, that's going to appear, you know? Episode 5, I believe. In this episode, thank goodness, like, thank you animators for making a major improvement. And at the end, it it just fits, you know? It, even though if it's fan service, it's still funny. I think like um this had a great major improvement on 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 this e on, on on this episode. Some y'all could agree, some y'all can disagree, but to me it made a major improvement. I think it's like Data Life 2 has this like ups and downs, ups and downs and ups and downs, you know? It's like a roller coaster like it'll turn out bad, but it'll come out good, turn out bad, come up come up good. It's like that, you know? Some animations are like that and you know it's something like surprising right there. Sometimes I think I hope it made a major improvement. And to me, it made a major improvement in this episode. Y'all could agree or disagree with me. I don't I don't care if y'all disagree thinking this is a stu another stupid episode. I dropped it. I, I go like, I don't care, you know? I, it's like this. There are some things that's gonna, gonna be bad. And there are some things that's gonna be good coming up in the end. And this is the episode that made a major turning point for me. And, you know, I still, I loved it very much. Like, what can I give this episode? Let's see here. 4.5 out of 5. I mean, major improvement. The fights were there. The action. The ending was fitting. Fan service, like, came at the right time. Even though y'all think it's, like, stupid or something. Oh, uh, I can't believe they did this. Hey, man. Spirits. It's, like, it's natural. Kit. Cheeto kisses the spirit. Loses the powers and loses the armor. Goes all bare and naked. It's like that. We saw it in Day of Life no Season 1. It doesn't matter. I... I think this is, I think I love this episode very much, very much. Tell me what y'all think about this episode, because I think it made a major improvement on it. Like, not a lot of fan service, even though, like, um, Daylight 2 has its ups and downs, ups and downs with episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, you know, and, yeah, but I don't care about it. I think it made a major improvement. Tell me what y'all think, you know. I mean, comment below, comment, rate, subscribe. I am Alpha Zero Forum. Hope you all enjoyed this review that I talked about, you know, and... Looking forward to episode 5. Yeah. Later. Peace out. Alpha Zero Forum. Out.